discover what Wall Street has known all along. Bloomberg Television, a wealth of information. Bloomberg's final word is coming right after this show, and here's what's going to be taking place. Bear Stearns, as we've been talking about today on the economy, had its credit rating outlook cut to negative by Standard & Poor's on concern declining prices for mortgage-backed securities are going to cut earnings. We'll look at the effect the subprime crisis has on credit markets. And Energy Secretary Sam Bodman said this week rising crude oil prices are putting the U.S. economy in the danger zone. So we're going to zero in on where oil prices are headed next. That's all ahead on Bloomberg's final word, beginning at the top of the hour. Right now on the economy, here's what we're looking at. Today's weaker than forecast jobs number may not bring joy to the hearts of the nation's job seekers uh, as it was a little bit weaker than people thought. With uh, 92,000 workers added to payrolls last month, the sign labor is cooling, but our next guest says workers have nothing to worry about, may even have cause to celebrate. Jeff Kay, president and CEO of Kay Bassman International, joins us now. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thanks very much. Nice to be here. Well, we love to get, uh, we love to look at the big numbers, have our macroeconomists debate them, but then it's good to get individual pieces from the macro to the micro. Give us your micro view of the labor market. Half empty the cup or half full? Well, I think it's half full. I think that the obviously the 92,000 number and the 4.6 percent was a little less than expected. However, maybe like um, Goldilocks's porridge, you know, not too hot, not too cold, just about right. This range we're in right now, we've really been in a 4.4 4 to 4.6 percent range for just about a year. And you'd have to go back four years to find the rate of 6.3 percent, which was much, much higher. Now, we're not in the sub 4 percent unemployment rate that mm -hmm. we experienced in the last war for talent, if you recall, about seven years ago. Uh, however, However, the um, environmentalists these days are not the only ones seeing climate change. We in the recruiting industry are seeing tremendous climate change and the warning signs that we remember for the last battle for the best and brightest are right upon us today. However, this time our perspective is things are going to be different because the overall supply of labor is shrinking as the boomers retire and the baby busters or the Gen Xers just simply aren't large enough of a population to okay. replace them. So Jeff? booming times for employees not so good for employers for in employers. our opinion. And of course, that's, this has been, again, this is one of the macro questions on Wall Street. Has job growth slowed because, because demand for workers slowed down or because the workers just aren't out there? But let's take a couple of your points and break them down. Number one, um, is, this, is this across the entire economy? Now, you're an executive uh, headhunter type firm. Or is it specific industries? I mean, if I'm a manufacturing worker, probably I, I don't have the ability to tell my employer, forget it, if you don't get, give me a raise, I'm going to another job, another company. Where, right. What industries are like that now? What is leading the edge of this? Well, clearly, obviously, you're, you're right on. The, when candidates feel like there's more opportunities, they're a little more likely to jump ship, take a little more risk. So in some industries, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, financial services, the professional services, our industry is obviously going through uh, great time periods. These industries are, are growing very rapidly. Construction, believe it or not, on the commercial side, still doing real well. Now, if you're in residential construction or the supporting areas like mortgage, not so good. Manufacturing continues to outsource overseas. And so there are, it's very sector by sector and determined mm -hmm. really where you are and how much of an employer market you're in or how much of an employee market that you're in. Jeff, what about wages? What about salaries? Are people getting a little more pricing power or is it still a situation where we're in a global economy and there's a lot of competition? So maybe people feel a little spunkier, but they're not really able to translate that into substantially higher paychecks. Yeah, it's been gradually increasing. However, because of efficiencies, worker productivity, technology, and the globalization, really we've been able to keep wage inflation in check because if wage inflation starts to increase, the feds worry about inflation mm -hmm. and what that impact is that going to have. Uh, so I think we've been kind of in a, in a sweet spot, and I think we will be like we were before where we can actually lower unemployment, increase the opportunities for workers without increasing significant wage demands on employers. Also, looking at new pools of populations, employers can look at certainly overseas, but one of the new pools that we've seen tremendous growth in is workers coming, believe it or not, out of the military who are mm -hmm. transitioning their duty of services over. They've gotten lots of training, technical training across virtually every industry. Yes. We're in 15 industry groups, and we see it in all of them, and that's a whole pool of people that really is just coming into vogue these days to be able to uh, identify yes. and, and attract their...